If you want to see the German version of this video, click the first link in the video description. In today's video, I will show you how to create your own Arduino Mega. But first of all, I would like to apologize for my English. I mean, I'm trying my best. There are many videos and articles on the internet on how to create your own Arduino Uno, but none on how to create your own Arduino Mega. I mean, there are at least a few articles, but they didn't work out, at least they didn't work out for me. And that's why I created my own one. That means that the article I created is based on my experience. Experiences I made by killing many at Megas 25.6, they all died. But they died for science and that's a good thing, so it's okay. I will just say at Mega, because this video is based around the at Mega 25.6, but this is way too long to say, so at Mega and you know what I mean. If you would like to have a closer look at the instructions on how to create your own Arduino Mega, then in the description I placed a link where you can visit my website. There you will find closer information and you can download the whole instruction. To program the Ad Mega, you can use such an IC socket, but they are rather expensive, so I decided to use uh, my own PCB. I designed this PCB and that the manufacturer by JLC PCB. The Atmega chip I ordered at LCSC. Then I soldered the Atmega chip to my PCB. Around the Atmega chip I soldered a few headers so we can connect cables. On the right I soldered three 10 kilo ohm resistors. Four 0.1 microfarad capacitors, two 22 picofarad capacitors and at the bottom three 1 kilo ohm resistors. But actually you don't need the 1 kilo ohm resistors. Next we have to wire up the Atmega to the Arduino. For that I recommend to open the instructions on a second monitor. Open it out like me so you can have a look while I'm explaining stuff. At first we have to hook up the Atmega to the Arduino Uno to burn the bootloader. For that I hook the D10 pin of the Arduino Uno to the reset pin of the Arduino Mega, so the pin 30. Then I have to hook up the Arduino D11 to the Atmega, the Arduino Uno D12 to MISO, so pin 22 of the Atmega, the Arduino D30 to the, to the serial clock, so pin 20 of the Atmega. Then I connect 5 volts from the Arduino Uno to pin 31 at the Atmega. The Atmega has more than just 31 as an VCC pin. I don't know why, but I made experience that it works the best when you just connect it to pin 31. The same with the ground. The ground of the Arduino Uno gets connected to pin 32. Next, I hook up a 60 MHz crystal to the XTL2 and XTL1. And I found out that it works the best when you hook up the left leg of the crystal to the XTL2. So when I have a look at the crystal and I can read the 60 MHz, then the left leg is on the left. So after we wired the Arduino Uno to the AdMega, we search in our project folder for bootloader code open Arduino Sketch Master, then we search for Atmega Board Programmer and open Atmega Board Programmer. Now I connect the Arduino Uno to the PC via USB cable. Up here I search for the Arduino Uno and now I just have to upload the code to the Arduino Uno. After that I can open a serial monitor by clicking on this little magnifying glass and if everything is right correct and the chip is accepted we see this text. Now we can type in G and enter. And here is the done. This means everything is correct and the bootloader is loaded to the add mega chip. After we burn the bootloader, we can program the Arduino using a CP2102, but I will often call it just CP because CP2102 is too long. So first we connect the CP to a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and the other end of the capacitor to the reset pin, or the pin 30, of the Ad Mega. Then I hook up a 10 kilo ohm resistor to 5 volts and the other end to the reset pin. So this is a pull-up resistor. Then I connect the CPRX to the Ad Mega TX pin 3. Then I connect the CPTX to the Ad Mega RX pin 2. And then I connect the CP5 volts to the Ad Mega pins 31 and 100. Then I connect the CP ground to the Ad Mega pin 32 and 99. Next, I connect the XTL1 to a 22 picofarad capacitor, and the capacitor I connect to ground. The same thing with XTL2, so I connect XTL2 to a 22 picofarad capacitor and then to ground. Between the connection 
of the XTLs and the capacitors, I connect the 16 MHz crystal again with the left leg to XTL2 and the right leg to XTL1. At the end of the instructions, there are two pictures showing a connection with and a connection without capacitor. First of all, we have to install the drivers for the CP2102. So in the project folder, I search for the CP2102 folder. Here I got a zip, this is the newest version today. If there's a newer version, here you find a text document in which you find a link to a website there you can download the newest version and here you can buy one of the CP2102 chips. To install we hit right click then we say extract all extract and then I choose the 46 bit version for my PC. Now we can open the Arduino IDE again and I want to go basic so I choose the basic blink sketch for that I go to file say example basic and blink. Here I change LED build in to 30 here as well and over here. Now I have to choose an Arduino Mega as my board so I go to tools, boards and choose the Arduino Mega. Now I connect the CP2102 to my computer via USB cable. I go to tools, port, it's already chosen and then I just hit upload. After the app Mega is programmed we can wire up for general operations and now actually all VCC and all ground pins should get connected but that's too much wiring work for me now so I just connect the 31 and 100 and the 32 and 99 that's enough. The connection with the 22 picofarad and the 60 MHz crystal is still the same. Also the connection between 5V to 10 kilo ohm resistor and the reset pin of the AdMega is still the same. Now I set my power supply to 5 volts and connect it to the circuit and as we can see the LED is still lighting up. You see building your own Arduino Mega is not that hard and as already said in the description there's a link which brings you to my website where you can have a close look at the instructions and download them as well. I hope you could learn something. If you like, share and subscribe. Here are more videos, click here to find to my channel and then see you next time. Bye!